The final chapter, 35. Still on Terra, but in that hive city with a weird name. I saw the wire had an usual program. But a day changed. He received an A-second call that he only listened to and never said anything. Of course, it was highly encrypted. After all this, after this call, I mean, Wire told his superior he was ill and he left work early. He promised his supervisor he will visit the Medicaid facility, but he didn't go there. Caltro, Vinyan's agent, the Inquisitor lady, followed him to a terminal of mag lines and went into a basement. Deciding not to waste any more time, unless his targets expect him, he wired up and jumped on a man that had the same coat as Wire, breaking his back and his neck. When he turned the man over, he heard a voice. You don't need to pay a poor man to wear a thick coat on a night like this. Wire was behind the Inquisitor, the Inquisitor agent, the Inquisitor's agent, I guess. He turned fast with his weapon drawn, but it was no longer Wire that faced him. But Beast Cruel, that with a smile, broke his arm and then punched him right through his skull, like. Literally, his hand went into his skull and he came out the other side. Crew complimented himself before taking his coat and bag and leaving the dead Inquisitor agent while whistling a cheerful tune. <laughs>